We're interested in computational biology, and that's uh, that's what we do. Our work involved uh, predicting the docked structure of proteins. So proteins are uh, very important machines in your body that come together and do all sorts of magical stuff. Uh, we are interested in figuring out how they come together. And uh, a lot of diseases uh, are uh, related to proteins, so viruses insert their DNA into host cells using proteins. Uh, prion diseases such as Alzheimer's are caused by misfolded and or improperly folded proteins. So all of this computational simulation, uh, you know, we hope will one day enable us to extremely accurately simulate what's going on with proteins. So what we did is we took uh, a energy function, uh, which will lead us to the answer to the question I just posed, and we implemented it on the GPUs. We found absolutely dramatic increases uh, of, in fact, two orders of magnitude. So the graph over here uh, is a graph of our runtime performance, and uh, the the two parabolic lines are CPU runtime, multi-threaded CPU runtime, and the flat red line is the CUDA performance. So, uh, in fact, the red line is, of course, a parabola, but you'd have to zoom out, you know, to see it. So, basically, for you know, for our application, uh, for uh, complex sizes in our range, protein, so these are the sizes of the protein. Anything we'd be interested in is kind of, you know, taken care of real nicely by, by our CUDA code. CUDA was really easy to pick up for me. I think uh, uh, partly because of the fact that uh, my background in the video game industry had me working on a lot of multi-core and uh, uh, PlayStation 3, SIMD kind of stuff. But I also felt that, you know, it was documented fairly well. Uh, I made uh, a lot of use of the NVIDIA forums, for, <laughs> forums.nvidia.com, uh, kind of answering questions and, and asking questions on there. Uh, but yeah, the, the transition was smooth and, and kind of direct for me. I, you know, I didn't have a lot of trouble understanding the, the background.